this man carries himself with such like pride and like oof, i'm that type of shit you know like he's got truly big dick energy at this point like he knows he can beat anybody in the soul society maybe not captain yama at this point but like uh what's going on you guys it's your man just jay samu what's up what's poppin how you guys doing uh shout out to everybody on youtube thank you for uh coming out everybody on twitch um i'm so excited i am absolutely absolutely like over the moon excited about this uh bleach is finally coming back i knew it since anime expo of last year a lot of us weren't allowed to talk about it but um i'm pretty sure it's studio Periot that's working on it oh my god man i am i'm over the moon excited like bro <laughs> like bleach is coming back like of all things um uh, one of the best of the big three. At, okay, so let's have a conversation about the big three because I don't really, uh, I don't really like talking about it. I, they get people get really confused about what the big three really is, and it's Dragon Ball is not part of the big three. It's part of the previous big, well, maybe not big three. It's probably like, like if we had to give it a title, it would be like the grandfathers of Shonen. Fucking, that would be uh, Bleach uh, is part of the same class as one piece and naruto um so anyway bleach is announced that it's finally coming back i'm i'm so so excited um i would have preferred me personally i would have preferred a movie hold on let me actually turn this down because i can hear it i actually would have preferred a movie uh only because i feel like the pacing and the course of the final arc and we'll probably like look at it a little bit um we'll probably go to like manga reader or something and skip through a few chapters um i think the pacing of the final arc being super quick and like not a whole lot of explanations is not usually kubo's thing um which he goes into a lot of explicit detail in a lot of arcs in bleach um even the filler arcs are kind of filled up with like wild explanations for like long periods of time um but yeah i uh I really think the pacing of the final arc suits a movie, like a two hour or an hour 45 movie, a lot better than it does a stretched out anime. Um, only because the budget would be completely different. It's like it's like looking at Dragon Ball Super, uh, reanimating the movies, like with Beerus and uh, Frieza coming back. In compare, Although it probably won't look like that because it's Ariat and probably have like considerable amount of money going towards it considering bleach brave souls has just like acquired so much goddamn money like but uh man i would have preferred a movie a thousand year blood war arc movie would have been really 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 dope um just because i feel like certain scenes could be animated really really well like in depth like movie quality um and we're talking like mob psycho levels of shit going on like if any of you guys are familiar with mob psycho like a lot of the art and animation for that is just like mind-blowing how amazingly good it is so i would prefer quality like just above that or even like more so like i said movie quality would be really really dope um only because the pacing and the fights really kind of get cut down to like very very simple fights even though like a lot of that stuff i feel like kisuke didn't need to use his bankai um kenpachi definitely 100 percent kenpachi um i would have loved to see aizen's though out of like all the characters i would have loved to see aizen's but i feel like he transcends bankai like he no longer need i think he even explained it in the manga so we'll have to look it up i think he even explained how he's like i no longer need bankai because it's like a detriment to me or something like that like he was saying um he's like above bankai at that point like he is the new soul king like he's that fucking powerful so i would have loved to see like way more quality put in that portion but i know a lot of people are going on about like changing the ending and stuff like that i don't really care honestly like i i truly don't like i think the movie could wrap up in an hour and a half and then the last 15 like well i guess 10 minutes really because let's say five minutes of credits or whatever um and we're talking like total runtime so like maybe an hour 45 and like the last 10 minutes or so 
is like explaining the time skip kind of like how naruto the last did like where they did all of like this fight and then all of a sudden there's the wedding and then there's the time skip to him being hokage literally at the sliver end of it so i think that would have been cool but also like him having his kid and like that time skip and everything like there's literally nothing that happens so i'd be okay with that like time skip being at the end and like he's standing on his like rooftop or something or um pretty much how the manga ended like i'm okay with that like i don't understand why people have such a problem with it um i know people have a lot of problems with best girl rukia and renji hooking up um i think honestly uh order hime is a waste of time i've never really uh i've never really liked order hime but that's that's a hot that's a bleach hot take which i should probably make a video about that i would love to make a bleach hot take video and just like all of the characters that i think are wasted and just like bad like i think uh Rukiora is a waste i think him him kind of like fading away and dying just like whack so uh bleach has a lot of a lot of stuff that they can fill in but um i do want to pull up the manga before we do anything else today so uh i'm gonna go to um manga reader i think let's see 480 okay so let's go find 480 final oh here we go the final arc the thousand year blood war goodbye to execution okay so this is the final um wow from 480 all the way so it's 200 206 more chapters wait that's a lot of uh 206 manga chapters is actually not it's i don't know i don't know what it, anytime uh i i look at like manga chapters and shit like that i'm just like ah, okay whatever oh and then this is aizen's prison sentence i'm just gonna go through and like a lot of this is like re-establishing a lot of the characters so this this will probably be the beginning of the anime is uh sorting out like smaller characters and stuff like that before we get into ichigo Let's see this dude fighting this hollow. Um, bro, these are these panels. Oh, he gets smacked the fuck up. Okay. And then who shows up to help him? It's Ichigo. <laughs> of course. After homie already got fucked up. <laughs> so, uh, of course, he carries his sword with so much pride at this point. Like, after. Um, I think I can use the arrow keys. So after the uh, full bring arc and he gets all of his powers back and he's more powerful than ever, like this man carries himself with such like pride and like, oof, I'm that nigga type of shit. You know, like he's got truly big dick energy at this point. Like he knows he can beat anybody in the soul society. Maybe not Captain Yama at this point, but like, yeah, he's not, he's not fucking with Captain Yama so and then they have like a ganju tribute or whatever and then we go right back to soul society with more filler shit iori is uh still vice captain i think does she come back i i don't remember i actually don't remember a lot of this let's see this is all filler stuff so i'm not looking forward to this i'm not looking forward to this these are all flashbacks let's see yeah more okay this is cool this will probably be a really good iconic moment right here. So this will be an iconic movie in the an a moment in the anime. Um, he's got black Zanpakuto energy. Yes, indeed. If I remember correctly, one of them gets bopped, bro. He said, "I refuse." Whoop. Nah. Um. Let's see. I think. I think this guy just like gets downed instantaneously. Like he just can't fight Ichigo. I don't remember hardly any of this arc. He notices he's a Quincy. And then... Okay, so this art... This art is kind of bad. <laughs> I really... It, see, this is the thing with Kubo. Kubo has, like, these... Like, really, really good... Like, look at the, look at the background on this. Like, I don't... I don't think Kubo's, like, done that a lot. I really think he was, like, rushed from the beginning of this final arc. Like, there's, like, no background art, but... I'm pretty sure he's always drawn, like, background art. Like, it's never just kind of plain like that. Like, it's usually something like this. Like, this looks really nice. Like, this looks like it was taken, like, a lot of time was taken to make that. I don't know. I can't, I have to go back and compare, like, a bunch of, a bunch of different arcs. So, a lot of the stuff I don't like with this arc is, like, maybe not that I don't like it. 
It's just... Everything's hard to pronounce because it's in German. <laughs> Van der Weech. <laughs> Van der Weech. So, I don't... He said, nah, you niggas really gonna step in my house? I don't fucking think so. Oh my god, yeah, this would be... Look, look at all this just blank paneling, though. But look at this! The detail in this... I feel like he's got specific ones that he, like, went ham on. Like, look, this shit is beautiful. Oh my god. But then, m majority of the panels we get are just, like, blobs. And then... One facial expression like chops this guy's arm off you were failing me oh and then of course we get the god of gods the madara of bleach bro like i don't even know how to kill this fucking guy like he has the ability to erase time and shit like he's just way too overpowered i really don't appreciate that so anyway without making this too long let's see what you guys got in the comments let's see 